Hey, buddy, it's Victor. It's time to know that you can run here the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Tuesday, Mosh Pit. I hope you had a great start to your Tuesdays. We did have another video across 3,000 likes, which now puts us at 258 over 270. Now only 12 away from TM Trainer Month. I'm going to talk about the like streak goal for a little bit during this episode. But first off, we got to get to our meme of the day here, an actual picture of the day. And no, it's not a Mosh Pit of the day. This one I'm sent in by Frostbite. Top throws, I always think it's Invicta's rant whenever we get a new garbage bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those of you who are old school uh, Mosh Pit members out there, you remember my my various rants about uh, scented garbage bags. And uh, I may, maybe we'll revisit that. Seed Day's going to be Victor, Delta, Papa Charlie, 8, Hotel, Victor, 9. We've got good damage, terrible shot speed. Oh, my gosh. We can outrun our shots almost. Um, bad tears. Yeah. Not not the greatest. We do have Juicy Sack, though, which is a very good passive item, to, at least to start with, anyway, if we need crowd control. Uh, but we're going to need more shot speed. We're going to need more a lot of things here. Also, our movement speed is very bad. The only thing that's really good, besides our damage, is our movement speed. Uh, or not movement speed. Our um... No, never mind. There's nothing good about it. It's just our HP. <laughs> HP and damage is about it. Oh, okay. Well, we can get ourselves a... Soul heart whenever we want to, or we can go get, we can maybe get the uh, the blanket as well. That would be even better than a soul heart because it also comes with a soul heart. It also also gives you a, a holy mantle. But yeah. So the the TLDR on my my rant on the scented trash bags was uh, basically I hate them. Um, I don't want my like like the the artificial the artificial wow the artificial. Uh, like freshener like scent aroma whatever they whatever you want to call it that they use for artificial trash bags like legit smells worse than like trash itself because now on top of like smelling trash i'm also smelling like scented trash and it's even it's just it's putrid man like the worst i actually so what what triggered that that whole rant at that on that one episode and this was like a, I don't know, a year or two ago at this point um was I bought, uh, I was like, oh, hey, uh, like this, these have like lemon smell to them. Like, you know, uh, yeah, sure. I, I could, I can see how that would be nice for the kitchen. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't ever have trash that's like super stinky. And if like, if, if something smells off in my house, I, I detect it immediately. And I instantly like, I'm like, all right, this has got to get yeeted out of the, out of the window. Um, so it's very rare for me to have trash that just smells. But I was just like, oh, you know, it'd be nice to have like, you know, maybe a, a, a light scent in the in the kitchen or something like that. Um, yeah, this this smelled like it it smelled like lemon lemon garbage, is what it smelled like. Um, it was it was actually like perforating through the entire house. Like even when I closed my bedroom, it, it smelled like absolute crap. So it was like lemon flavored crap. So. What I did was I was like, I just gave it to my neighbors. I was like, hey, do you guys want some like brand new, never used trash cans? Because this is awful. I didn't even last a day with them. It was it was just horrible. And uh, they're like, yeah, sure. And then I, you know, then I went on a random like, why, why make? It's just like scented hand soap. Like I, I dislike scented hand soap a lot. Like it's like, dude, I just I just want to clean my hands. I don't want them to smell like you know like fruit punch or like a like a candy cane for the rest of the day like i just i just want i just want to have a clean clean hands clean trash can clean hands so that's the uh that is that is the the gist of the of the rant about the scented trash cans as well as as scented uh or scent not scented trash cans scented um trash bags and uh, scented hand soap they're kind of roped into one so um now going over real quick to talk about the like street goal um it's I, I would say that i'd say it's been mixed for a tm trainer month some people some people are super stoked about it, some people aren't um if it flounders too much this week and I, of course i don't want to i don't want to incentivize people not clicking the like button because like the thing is with the with the like street goal is that it's all designed to support the channel right the, these are supposed to be fun little fun little extra extra goals that we could do for for the channel they're not supposed to be anything big that's supposed to be escalating in wackiness or insanity anything like that it's just a it's just an extra way to try to motivate people uh to to engage with the videos the, that was the whole point whenever i i created the whole like streak stuff and uh, i don't want 
I don't want people to not click the like button because obviously that it's counterintuitive. But at the same time, if people just aren't feeling a like streak goal, like, you know, we we've pivoted in the past where it's like, eh, people weren't really feeling it. Like, let's try something else. And that's sort of where we're get, we're getting to the point with TM Trainer Month. Uh, we've been on it for a little while now, actually. Again, and obviously we're moving into April. I thought that I thought for sure that we would be starting the the like streak uh, goal by now in April. So if it ends up floundering too much this this week, I would say um, I'm going to switch it to something else. What that something else is, um, I am not going to say because again, I don't want I don't want to incentivize people from not clicking the like button. Um, but I also thought about maybe making a poll as well. Um, but from from what I've gathered, from what I've seen in, in Twitch chat, from what I've seen on uh, on YouTube comments, you know, people were kind of mid about about the TM Trainer Month. The reason why I wanted to do it was just because, like, I wanted to I wanted to add extra extra just extra wackiness every single week, just to just to do one one TM Trainer Month uh, run a week for an entire month. I thought that would be wacky. Um, I even thought about. I thought about putting it on all, all of them on the YouTube save file, um, you know, to up kind of like up the stakes a little bit, but I don't think people, I, I think people are, are some people, not everybody. I think some people are kind of moved on from TM trainer and, and the idea of the, of that I, you know, and plus it also kind of like ruins like the, the insanity. If we do actually start with a TM trainer start, uh, which we haven't happened in a while, but I probably just jinx myself for tomorrow or something like that. So, um, but yeah, but it's not, I'm not changing it yet. Um, I'm still I'm still going to be gathering, engaging the uh, the engagement levels here for uh, for this week and the like street goal because I do want I do want to make sure that the goals are fun and they're interesting for people. It's it's stuff that people want to hit. Oh, we're just going we're just going full on creep mode, huh? Uh, I am going to take headless baby. I'm also going to take dark prince's crown to activate it because we need something for our DPS. So that that's the that, that's the whole thing with the with the light street goal. It may be pivoting to something else, and and no, I wouldn't reset, I wouldn't reset it or anything like that. That would be now that would be a slap in the face. Um, so just be aware that like I'm I'm looking I'm looking at it very closely for this time around. Ooh, I think Mr. Dolly definitely needs some need some tears here, and then we're gonna use the stars card, and maybe we could take the sneeze, I guess, but that at least saves us a key so we can go into the store. But look at this like crazy triple creep build we've got going on here. This is. This is kind of insane. We've got Aquarius, we've got we got Juicy Juicy Sack, and now Headless Baby. So any, I mean, anything dumb enough to follow us on the ground is going to be in for a world of hurt. Remember, Aquarius does scale with our tier damage as well. So like, we're going to be doing Buku amounts of damage. It's in a weird way. It's almost like a reverse or inverse uh, Black Powder. I'm all I'm all for it. And that is the right there is a is a prime example of controlling your outgoing damage. Obviously, there's nothing we can do with blue with blue spiders, but it's just a it, like that room there. If you are not in 100% total control of your damage, you're going to get hit by one of the bomb flies, whether it be through secondary damage because something else hit it, like a spider, or with you accidentally shooting too many times. It's just going to happen. Um, so yeah, you're almost guaranteed to get hit in that uh, in that room. There's a bunch of spiders here. But going on to last week's question of the episode here, the most upvoted comment came in from 6X, uh, 6XZ, who said, question for Sinvicta, it's easy to say which is your most hated enemy in the game, but can you tell us which is your favorite to go against? Bosses can be included. Um, so again, very, very good question, uh, much like uh, yesterday's question. This one I don't have to think too much about, though. I really enjoy... I personally enjoy fighting Pin because I know that Pin is I, I get to I get to meme on him a little bit, but also I, like obviously Pin's not. Let's be honest, we we love Pin, but he ain't he ain't he ain't tough. He ain't very tough. Um, another enemy that I don't mind going up against and and actually like actively am, am okay with going up against is Chub, um, non champion Chub. Champion Chub can be a little bit annoying. Ooh, oh my gosh! Wow, what a store here. Steam sale coming up big for us here. We're gonna take the dice shard, so we do have a reroll. Should probably buy. No, we're good on keys. Never mind. Uh, blue map's gonna show us the locations of the secret room and super secret room, so there's no more guessing, no more wasting bombs. Should 
probably go back and get a bomb though, just so we can get into the super secret room. Uh, but yeah, non-champion Chub is uh, is totally fine by me. Um, I think that she's she's pretty easy. Um, as far as like non-bosses go, I I mean basic flies, I guess. You know you you know you're going up against very uh, a very clear and easy room. There's not too many difficult fly fly enemies in the game that I'm that I'm like oh no. You know, maybe eternal flies are kind of annoying and also the immortal like double flies but other than that i mean like yeah super easy enemies i also want to say a uh, special shout out to commenter 8737 who completed their one year one full year of comment streaks uh appreciating the thumbnails now go ahead and read it in just a second So thank you very much, commenter8737, 365 days as of last week. I'm appreciating the thumbnails. It's been one year of me appreciating the thumbnails, and I think I should end it here. And I would like to thank Agramonopolis, a.k.a. Alex, the artist who does our thumbnails, for the wonderful thumbnails, and Sinvicta for continuing on playing Isaac. Goodbye for now. Thank you very much, commenter. And uh, it's that, that is an achievement. That, that kind of stuff deserves recognition and uh, more... More people should know about it. So thank you very much, commenter. One of the one of the most the most active and longest streaks of comment streaks in the mosh pit. And it's sad to see you go, but I hope that uh, you, I hope you find motivation to do a uh, to do another one. And you get a free entry here into the vault. And this frees up our bombs to blow up the keeper. Look at that. We got ourselves a free squeezy. Okay, so tears rate's looking very solid here, mostly in part due to what, due to us having uh, Dark Prince's crown active. The Book of Sin is kind of interesting for for this, especially with uh, with car battery. I think Book of Sin may actually be the way to go. Even though I've been liking the spiders, they they have been helping out with damage a lot. Uh, having some kind of having some kind of consumable spawn is very good, especially considering the fact that the Book of Sin can also spawn soul hearts. Uh, because we have not been able to see a whole lot of those in this in this episode yet. Even though we just got squeezy, of course. Sun's habit's totally fine. Not gonna use the potato peeler. I think it'd be a huge waste because on top of us losing our um, HP for a devil deal, we would also lose the buff that we are currently have that we currently have active thanks to Dark Prince's crown, because we would no longer be on one red heart. I think the achievements of the mosh pits should definitely be be appreciated and valued, and they are by me um, and lots of other people. You know, we I've seen thanks to the seventy five percent experiment, and people are still doing it, by the way. And please let me know if you're continuing on it. Um, my friend from YouTube is still monitoring a lot of the numbers as well as I am, and it's definitely made a big difference. A big difference. We've been seeing people who have been being who've been recommended the channel for the first time ever, new subscribers. Um, have been showing up every single day, which is really awesome. And uh, that is that is just proof that, like, you know, there are trends in the in the YouTube algorithm, which we already knew. Again, like talking about uh, the spiffing Brit who did who did an experiment like this on, a few years ago. Um, you know, and he's obviously he takes it to the extreme, and he also has a much higher reach than I do. But it does still illustrate that there are still trends in the algorithm, that sort of stuff. Um, so please, so please let me know if you're still doing that and how you found the channel as well in the comments. Um, I would love to, I'd love to recognize those that are still going through the 75% uh, challenge here. Because again, it is making a difference. I want to make sure that people understand that. It is absolutely making a difference. We don't really need the quarter. I will take Abba Ding Dong. We are going to go back to a, uh, back to a, a red heart on the next floor. Yeah, pretty much expected that. Silver dollar, eh. I'm gonna go check this over here. I'm very happy that we got some movement speed. Now we need we we still need to get some more some more tears rate. Even though our tears rate is 5.66, that's going to go down pretty quickly once we get rid of this red heart. Oh baby, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, 
But for those of you who are still doing it, again, thank you. Thank you. And please continue to do so. I have a lot of people who have been activating the uh, the 75% playback speed whenever they go to sleep. They just kind of leave it running. Um, it actually makes the videos longer, obviously, because so it, it helps out more from the, the ASMR pit. Those of you out there. I also totally forgot to put down the uh, Wheel of Fortune before I bombed it. Yeah, we could probably get a bomb here. Definitely need more movement speed here. We got this. We got this Captain America red, white, and blue creep going on right now. Although that didn't hit the mom hand for some reason. There we go. And it is very nice, obviously, that we get the uh, we're getting these these coins here from the Book of Sin, along with having the counterfeit penny, which is paying out very, very nicely. I can use a temperance machine. It's going to deactivate Dark Prince's crown, which is we've already talked about how we kind of need that. Uh, one bomb gets us into the curse room for free. I'd prefer to go in for free and not uh, not. The real question is, are we going to see rock bottom on this run? <laughs> of spade. I mean, look, I'm not going to turn it down, but like that again would be very weird. The purity here. Purity is going to give us a random stat up until we take damage, and then it's going to swap to another stat. Uh, in this case, we got the we got the red aura, which is going to give us damage upgrades, which is very good. Call this uh, muy bueno. Is that right? Spanish mosh pit. Is it is it getting better? Speaking of Spanish mosh pit, I had... Uh, I mean, she's not part of the mosh pit, but... Or at least I don't think so. That'd be cool if she was. Uh, a lady that works at my subway that I go to every now and then. The one who makes me order in Spanish sometimes. Uh, she... <laughs> she was like... So I, I, went, I went to Subway, and I ordered... I have three sandwiches when I go to Subway, okay? One of them... And they're all plain, so don't get excited. One of them is chicken bacon ranch, which is definitely top tier when I'm in the mood for it. Uh, one's just a tuna sandwich, and then the other one is a is a turkey ham and cheese sandwich. And you all know me. I don't eat veggies, right? She knows this. I know this. Everyone knows this, right? I mean, I, I like salads in like certain, certain situations. I don't mind salads, like a Caesar salad or a nice house salad. Um, but I never, ever, ever eat vegetables on sandwiches or burgers or anything. And she... <laughs> Today I ordered I ordered my sandwich and she was like, "So you're still eating like a you're still eating like a big kid, huh?" I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I I've been told that I eat like a big child. And uh, she said, "You're gonna eventually have to start putting vegetables on the sandwiches." I'm like, nah, nah. But I do I do admittedly eat like a like a big teenager, and that's fine. I'm I'm okay with it. I'm a, I'm comfortable with myself. Who are, who are you to judge how, who, or how, how I eat, lady? Even though she's known me for many, many years. <laughs> she is the, uh, she's actually the mother of the, of the guy from, from Subway a, a couple years ago that I paid for his surgery whenever he got burned. And... But what what's funny is that like whenever whenever I hear stuff like that, I'm like, man, I, like I tell people all the time, like I don't I don't change. Like I like if I find a comfort zone, something something that I enjoy doing or, or like just a habit, like I will I will be like this for the from now until oblivion. To the end of time. Like I, I'm comfortable with just being with just being me. You know, and it's it's kind of reflected in a weird way. It's kind of re reflected in Isaac as well. You know, you see the the content I do on the channel. Like, yeah, we play other games, of course, but overall, overall, nothing really changes too much on the channel. After Isaac, you know, we kind of hit our stride, and then and then the rest is history. You know, and I'm and I'm totally fine with it. Like, I people ask me like. You know, a, a very common question is, how do you sit, play the same game over and over again? Like, don't you get bored? Blah, blah, blah. And I've talked about it several times. Like, why? Like, I have nothing to be bored over. Also, I'm very mad that I walked into those spikes like a moron and lost our tears up. Security. 
So this is our true tiers right here, 3.66, and yeah, it's as bad as you it's as bad as you would imagine. But for me, like for I don't know what type of personality I have, like whatever classification a psychologist would give me in terms of personality. I just like once I'm once I'm comfortable, like I'm totally fine with just doing the same thing over and over again. Until like I either I either really truly feel like I need to change something or or just never changes. I mean that's that's just how I am. You know, I'm fine with eating the same thing over and over again. That's the reason why that's the reason why the keto diet worked so well for me back when I was doing it was just because I'm like, yeah. Like you're telling you're telling me I can have all these foods that I love and like as long as I don't have you know carbs or sweets or anything like that. But I can still eat like you know eggs and bacon and meat and all that stuff. I'm like, dude, I'm I'm there. Like, sign me up. <laughs> you know, and I already drank skim milk, so I was like, yeah, I'll, hell yeah, I'll drink some skim milk every day. I do I do it anyway. You know. I don't know. I don't know what 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 type of personality that makes me. Dude, people too too many people these days focus on on giving labels and and making sure that you can fit into some kind of mold or classification of a person and that's just this is stupid I'm gonna get rid of our uh gonna get rid of our red heart here just so we can at least get our so we can at least get our uh our dark princess crown back we are gonna make boss rush which is surprising considering that like we haven't really had any sano stats But in, in in terms of Isaac on its own, I mean like I just like I've got nothing that I want to change. And if you even go if you want to go even further of um I'll take Boulevard. If you want to go even further back in my in my past to go check out when I was doing World of Warcraft videos and PvP videos, you know, I was even getting comments back then where people people were like, um, you know, all these videos are it's not really worth it. I mean, I like I like Rotten Tomato, but it's not worth doing an entire boss rush for. Um, you know, people were saying like, you know, like, like my name back then was Lauder, and uh, they're like, you know, Lauder is the only person who could make the same the same videos over and over again and like I'd still be fine with it and I don't take offense to that sort of stuff because like yeah it's it's what people enjoy it's what I enjoy doing and I don't see a reason to change anything I'm happy with with how the videos are coming out and you know I get a system down and then the routine just kind of like takes over and I'm just I'm, I'm in a comfort zone same thing goes with with eating like I don't I just don't know I like I wish that I wish I could develop a, a more a more mature palate uh, of uh, of of consuming fancier foods and stuff, but every time I've tried to like step out of the comfort zone and like you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna try to eat this today. This sounds like a good idea. Uh, it's it's been a disaster. I'm like yeah. Now I remember why I don't eat vegetables on my sandwiches because like that part of the sandwich tastes really off, or it's like cold. Like it clashes with like you know I, I enjoy hot sandwiches most of the time. Um. And then I just kind of like go back to my comfort zone and like, okay, well, at least I tried, right? At least I get an E for effort. It's the Bart Simpson cake meme. You know, at least you tried. Okay, let's start paying more attention here to this, this here, this here Eden run. Uh, we get the reverse stars card, which is going to remove one of our items, our earliest non-eternal item, which in this case is going to be Aquarius, which we're not really using anyway. Very upset with how many times we've been hit on this on this level, especially with like, I mean, yeah, technically we don't have Dark Prince's crown anymore, but like we shouldn't be getting hit this often. We've got the we've got our our sweet spot for for movement speed, so uh, I'm gonna save the stars card for the Devil Deal. We do get a nice tears up though, which is uh, gonna help us out.
Now we could also go into the secret room and try to shoot the shoot the moon here for a secret room item, which I might I might end up doing. Sacrifice one item to get two, and I think it's a it's a good gamble. But I've always been like that, as even even as a as a kid, like I if I found like a a game that I really love playing, I'll just play it over and over again. If I if I find like a song that I enjoy, like I'll just keep like listening to the same song over and over again. The record for the record for the most the most times that I've listened to a song in a row was Until It Sleeps by Metallica. And then probably the memory remains by Metallica was the was the next one that I've that I just kind of listened to over and over and over again. Oh, we had Rune Cloth. Ooh. Uh, we can take Glitch Crown, and then if we re-roll these with the Perthro Rune, which we will, um, this should activate Glitch Crown. Okay. So we want the D-Infinity here, because we want to get the D6. Black Lotus wouldn't be too bad, but I'm going to I'm going to take a risk here. <laughs> oh, mama. Well, <laughs> we did it. Well, hang on. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now. We did it. <laughs> we got rock bottom again. All right, and we might as well take Rune Bag here. Okay. Well then. <laughs> so this is this is now what three or four? Is this four times in five episodes we've gotten rock bottom now through some means? I mean, hey, look, I'm down for it, right? Uh, we're in womb two. We're probably not going to get a devil deal, but we might as well look. Yeah, until it sleeps, until it sleeps is definitely the um, the record holder in terms of like the song that I listen to in a row the most. Spit out the bones probably up there as well. You may you may notice that these are all Metallica songs, by the way. I do want Maw of the Void. And then what we can do is we can go to Hushy and then use R key to get out. Old Hushy. Okay, we got 20-20. I didn't even see it, but hey, we don't have to worry about the stat down because we have rock bottom. Uh, brittle Bones, I will take. So this is going to give us a huge amount of tears up. Worm, buddy. Oh, but Deadeye, though, man. Deadeye, though, man. We can't we can't pass up Deadeye. The Diplopia. If we had School Bag, we could make two Arkeys. But we don't. Damn, that sucks. That's okay. So notice how Dark Prince's Crown is active. Now we don't have to worry about losing Dark Prince's Crown at all. I mean, we could probably beat Hush, but there's no reason to. In my opinion. Remember, we have Purity too, so this works out even better. I'm just gonna yeet the uh I'm just gonna yeet the bone hearts. So I'm saying what the tears upgrade. Well, what would be the benefit to, to beating Hush other than going for an Omega run? We could go fight Delirium. 
and beat Delirium and get half of them. Well, no, because we would still have to go with Light Side anyway. And we also don't have access to the, to the Mega Stand key, so... Yeah, we got the maximum bonus now from our base Brittle Bones Bones, Bone Hearts. I mean, I guess we can go ahead and just finish Hush. I wasn't planning on killing him. I was just going to get... I was just going to enter after we, uh... Or leave after we maxed out our Deadeye, but... but now, now I'm just going to... It's going to do it anyway. These stats are getting... They're getting goofy again. Now it goes old hushy. Old hushy. I mean, we can, we can still do light side. The thing is, Glitch Crown definitely gives us a chance to get another R key via either either Genesis or a Death Certificate. Brother, what are you doing? There's like literally no reason for you to be walking into walking into fire right now. You're lucky the game bailed you out. Hermit card. Having this many tier... Actually, no, I'm not going to go in there because I don't want death certificate right now. Um, if we get death certificate, that is. I don't want I don't want there... Basically, I, I don't want to go in the secret room because I don't want there to be an item pedestal uh, that will cycle through death certificate. We're, we want to wait until after we've used our R key before getting another one. Wow. And what I was going to say is it's with this amount of tears on the screen, especially with like all the red, it's extremely difficult to see uh, incoming projectiles. And the game is just bailing us out right now because we're playing like garbage. Yeah, stop firing so they actually see something for a moment. Okay. So we'll go up here. We're going to absolutely lay the smack down on blue baby I don't think death certificate can show up in the chest like this it was magic mush okay so magic mush and crickets crickets head do not multiply So instead, I'm going to go for Pyro here. Well, I mean, Cricket's Head still has damage, though. I'm still going to take Pyromaniac, brother. And then Parasite's just going to make things even more visual due to due to Tastic. So I'm going to go for the Virus instead. And then I would like Spectral Tears. So the hope here is that we get... Now, remember, we still have to do boss rush. The hope here is that we get the Delirium portal, at least after Blue Baby, and then we can go beat Delirium and then uh, use the R key. And then with Glitch Crown, we're going to have to go Angel Deals to hopefully get a Death Certificate through Genesis. Not Genesis, sorry. Um, well, yeah, I mean, we could, we could do it through Genesis, but... Since we haven't, since we haven't seen death certificate yet, or we need to be, we need, well, I need to not go in there. Um, we need to be focusing on hopefully getting that from a secret room. We didn't see any of it in the rerolls that we did in that secret room. So there's a very, very good shot that we're going to see one as long as we get one item pedestal in a secret room from from now until lamb, basically. I know we could be taking pills with rock bottom, but I think we'll be okay. We already have maxed everything in terms of movement speed and tears. We did get Delirium Portal. That's bueno. So now we can go destroy Delirium. 
I'm not sure where he's at. Yeah, we have flying. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking that we have flying. Well, there, we know there's bosses up here. Okay, maybe not. JK. Answers? There's a black rune. There's a bone heart over there, which we can actually use for a tears raid upgrade. Mr. Fred's Mr. Dead. Uh, we should go for spun here, so I'm going to go for synth oil. Not going to do much for us because, like, obviously our damage is super high right now. It's not like super high, but it's it's pretty good so far. It's a good start. Let's put it that way. Excuse me. I do wish we had flying. I'll just ruin in case we get in trouble against Delirium, which I am not anticipating. Fallen didn't make it. Stanley didn't make it. Stanley also didn't make it. Ooh, baby. There we go. Nine lives is big. Tenant Rock in here. All right, still looking for that delirium. I am with my delirium. The uh, my delirium by Lady Hawk. Okay, so Soul of Eden is good because what this what this does is this allows us. We don't need the Outer Rune. This allows us to reroll an item pedestal in the secret room when we do eventually get one and should maximize our chances in getting a death certificate. This is spun right here. We don't have to worry about experimental treatment and nuking everything, although there is a guppy item. I'm going to go for guppy item instead. Because, like, the spun transformation is not going to help us out that much. Also, full clear, la, 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 la. Those damages. Damage is cooking. You're delirium, you, you want to not do that? Thanks. This is a Perthro rune, it's even better. It is Perthro rune. Delirium knew we were coming. Okay, we got hit before the foot even touched the ground. Standard uh, delirium there for you. We didn't get hit by the beams. We got hit by Delirium turning into Chub right on top of us. Oh, look. Okay, we're going to just do it again, huh? All right. Down goes Delirium. We're gonna go for it. He's officially dead. Pop the R key. Seed stays the same. Victor Delta Papa. Charlie eight. Hotel Victor nine. And we're off. Take super bandage. Uh, yes, I will take options. Okay, so now is when we want. Now is when we want the um, 
the item pedestal in the, in the secret room. We pretty much have to go for. Well, we're gonna miss boss rush on this one, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the dark chest anyway. So, and because we have brittle bones, we can get rid of these bone hearts, and uh, be perfectly fine. Any permanent tears ups. These aren't. These aren't particularly great. I will take screw just for the slight tears up in shot speed. Okay, so we want to get an item pedestal inside the secret room. Wow. And Runecloth is going ham with all these Hierophant and Reverse Hierophant cards. We're only one away from Guppy. We're pretty much guaranteed to get Guppy at this point. Get a world card here. I'm not going in the vault because we don't have a we don't have enough. Oh my god, we don't have enough uh, keys, but. Well, watch our tears right, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. That is our that is our base tears right now. Yeah. I actually think we left before we cleared this room. Oh no, we didn't. Uh, Black Candle is fantastic for us, so we don't have to worry about curses anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this is this is very quickly becoming a joke. There's Guppy. Yeah, I'd say that this one is the uh, this one is the new, 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 new most powerful run that we've seen in a while of this year. This one, this one's going to eclipse that last one for sure, because this one has the tears rate and the damage and the guppy transformation. I mean, that one, all, I guess the last one also did, but holy moly! With, uh, with 51.36 tears rate, I think we're going to be just fine. Uh, piercing shots don't matter. But I'll take them anyway. Even though we technically don't have piercing shots right now, we kind of do. Because, as dumb as that sounds, because our damage is so high, or, or our tears rate is so high... Oh, this is this could be it right here. This could be it. We could if we get our second R key, then the Omega run is uh is only bound by only bound by Stanley at this point. I also need a sacrifice room because I realized that I just now I took a devil deal, so all right, here we go. Yeah, it's not in there. Sacred Orb's not bad, but I'm going to reroll this with Perthro. Perthro. And we didn't get it. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't want any of those to be honest. Wow, with So, even with a reroll and Having glitch crown, we still have not seen death certificate yet. I uh, will take goat head. Okay, so what we need to do, I could have walked out and walked back in, I guess, to get an extra devil do item, but. That's not that's not what our that's not what we're looking for here. Right now we're looking for 
We're looking for an item pedestal. And no, I don't care about leaving Guppy's tail behind or Guppy's paw behind. It doesn't. It doesn't. If we need Guppy's Guppy's paw on a run like this, something seriously went wrong. Bedroom could have some interesting stuff in it. Okay. Okay. If this is a black market. Not. Uh, um. We'll take Apple just because our luck rating is very good. And also, the Razor Blade is doing 2x damage is huge. Oh, come on. You know I didn't want that game. Also, it's not laying me in the bed. Uh, okay, that's a that's a new one. Maybe it's because I'm not damaged. Definitely play this Judgment here. I don't think Death Certificate can show up in the world. Yeah, so we'll definitely take uh, Eight Inch Nails here. Now, death I think death certificate can still show up in the item room. No, we we cannot take we cannot take Cricket's body. It's going to just be madness. If it crashes, then you know what? No one can get mad at me. I'm gonna go over into the member shop. We get compass, which I will take. Actually, Mama Mega will get us back into boss rush. I'm going to take Mama Mega. We can now get into boss rush, which is kind of neat. School bag is here. Nice. Four and a half volt as well. Uh, I don't really need any of those. Restock, meh. A magic skin. Magic skin could potentially get us death certificate as well. And I goofed it. The one, the one that I didn't need to goof. We'll take birthright though. Oh God, some torium. Um, I think knockout drops would be funny or game kid, I guess card reading is going to speed things up a lot. Could also find chaos, which wouldn't be bad. Take miter. Don't need any of those. SMB super fan. Okay. Okay, so we're making we're making progress here. The game legitimately might crash. Oh my god. That was without Kidney Stone, by the way. This is with Kidney Stone. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take Sulfuric Acid. I know that we had... I know that we had... Um, a spun there, but we... If you think that we need spun on a run like this, uh, I don't know what to tell you at this point. Lusty Blood is also good for damage, but I do want Eye of Belial. Okay, secret room. 
could have just used, used the blue portal, but whatever. No steam sailing here. That's fine. We should probably pick up this money just in case. Oh, we got Ansa's runes. Thank you, rune bag. No reason to go through anything else here. And with sulfuric acid, another reason why I picked it up is so we can just blast our way through the doors. Oh my gosh. Freaking tractor beam with this. Yeah, that is that is a redonkulous amount of damage right there. It's just a it is a straight up laser beam of damage. Yeah, it this is easily easily the strongest run that we've had this year easily I actually don't need those I was gonna I was thinking about taking bloody bloody Gus but we don't need it come on down Mongo baby brimstone would legitimately just ruin this build so I'm just not gonna do it okay so now we can use mama mega Uh, I'm not going to take the red portal. There's no need for it. Uh, let's see. So our tears rate is now 84. It's good. What is soy milk going to do to this build? And we've hit the hard cap of uh, 120 tiers per second. All right. Okie dokie. And why can't I get runs like this on Balatro? Oh, our donation machine. Almond milk. Uh, almond milk is going to do nothing. Especially since we have tractor beams. It's actually, it's actually made better with tractor beam. We had to get through before that happened. Um, the D20. Spoonbender does nothing. Uh, I, we do not want compound fracture. We've already gone past the the usefulness. I don't know. I guess Spoonbender it doesn't. Well, no. We can take Mom's eye. Mom's contact. Yeah, get ready for literally instant death. Nothing survives this. Absolutely nothing. Our tears are stopping because there's too many tears. There's too many tears for the game to animate, and it's not going across the screen because we are firing too many shots. Out of that we're firing so many shots it is going across the screen and we're just not seeing it's just the game is just not animating it by the way not one sacrifice room that we've seen by the way by the way by the way Oh my god. Uh, I'm not going to take quad shot because it does nothing for us at this point. Just adds more shots. As you already see, We the game cannot keep up with the shots that we're firing. 
Even Polyphemus didn't <laughs> didn't do anything for our damage. Yeah. In. Sure, we'll add, we'll add, a, add another another few thousand shots. Okay, so we'll take the red portal here. Um, I wonder what, I mean, C-section would be, would be funny and all, but I don't think it's, I really don't think it's going to matter. Uh, I will take Athame here. Soul of Isaac, we can actually use for a secret room. Uh, let's go back. We, we need to get we need to get to the Mega Satan door. Otherwise, the Omega Run just doesn't. Even, it doesn't matter if we don't get a. It doesn't matter if we don't get a, a, a another Arky or not. We gotta. We gotta actually get a a, a sacrifice room. So, you have to do a little bit of exploring here. And again, with sulfuric acid, we can just we can just kind of. Go around the level here real quick just to explore. No, 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 no. I want to make sure that I'm not accidentally passing up a sacrifice room. The sack room, if there if there is one, it would show an icon. But sometimes it gets wonky if you haven't if you haven't actually cleared the room before you uh, go into the next adjacent rooms, sometimes it won't show you what's actually in there. So I want to avoid that. But we still need the key, though. It takes the secret room, and there's no item pedestal in here, unfortunately. The curse room doesn't matter. The vault might actually have items in it. it doesn't. No. Room bag, you need to stop. Go. I didn't fully go this way to see if there was a sacrifice room here. Now, even with all this, remember, we still have the chance of doing a victory lap to get another another R key. So, it's still very possible here that the Omega run is alive. <coughs> Um, yeah. We get Sack Altar. We can use this inside of a secret room, I think. So, let's do that. Let's do that in Shoal. No, no, no. Let's do that here. And with Glitch Crown, this should create... In theory, this should create... Uh... A couple... Brother, stop. Picking up that stuff. This should create item pedestals in here with Glitch Crown that it can roll through for secret room items. Okay, it didn't. But we can use the Soul of Isaac. Soul of Isaac. And have it do absolutely nothing. Got it. Okay. Oh god, it's all it's all collapsing. It's all it's all being torn down. I 
secret room. There's still a chance for a, a sacrifice room here. And Shoal. Uh, yeah, we did get a sack room right in time. But the problem is that we don't have... We don't have the R key. So is it even worth doing the sacrifice room now until we have the R key? The answer is no, actually. Because even if we get the... Even if we go fight... Yeah, e even if we go fight fight Megastan and he takes us back to Delirium, we, we have no way of restarting the run again. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, Epa 4. I don't think Epa 4 is going to do anything. I'm going to take uh, Tech Point 5. Yeah, get ready for the fastest Satan kill you've ever seen. <laughs> it does not get any faster than that. I mean, it literally, it cannot get any faster than that. Like, that is, that is the quintessential instant death. Use mascara. Still didn't do anything to our damage. Yes, touch. Um, again, I don't want to. There's no reason for us to go fight Lamb right now. Unfortunately, there's no chests in here. We should do a full clear to see if we can get another item pedestal because that this I believe we've gone through almost every item in the game now. So in theory, we should be able to start cycling through other items that don't belong in the uh, in the current spawn. Okay, D6 is huge. I'll bung this up now. And we got a per throw. Okay. Uh. I'm going to wait. Well, I'm almost positive we won't see death certificate here. Let's wait until we get a secret room item on the victory lap. Because we're going to have to do a victory lap anyway and go alt path. And just hope that we see a that we see a, um, a death certificate. If a cack would, I think, destroy the game. A wafer. Yeah. That lamb doesn't. He didn't even know what happened. A new victory lap here. Second seed. Seven whiskey. Two four. Charlie four. Mike Victor. And we're gonna absolutely fly through this. The magic skin is still a possibility here. I don't think Proptosis helps us. Cricket said also, of course, doesn't help us because we already have magic mush. Uh, yeah, none of those, none of those do anything for us. Get the D sizzle here. And get spun. Surprisingly, spun was uh we had we hadn't gotten it yet. I think we should save the D6 charge for the shop in case we get magic skin or chaos. The chaos is definitely what we want to be we want to be getting here. I'm a mega again.
Uh, I will take... Consolation Prize, which is, again, not going to do anything. So we need to go Alt Path here. Alt Path also gives us... No, we can't go Alt Path because we still have to beat Mega Satan first. Yeah, we still, we still have to beat Mega Stan first, regardless of going Alt Path or not. The Omega Run. You can say to say that none of this matters in here. Um, yeah. Let's keep her sack, but we obviously don't need it. Um, Sacred Orb. Ooh, Diplopia, though. If we get our key, that's it. Okay. So we've got Diplopia. Restock might help us get... Get, uh, or beam sale, I guess. Restock was going to maybe help us get magic skin. It's so weird how the animation just stops. Uh, yeah, we don't care about any of this. I guess Spoon Banner because it can help the fame. There's no sack room at all. Oh, yeah, we can't hurt ourselves with fire because uh, we have Pyromaniac. Pyromaniac, brother. Here we get. We get one more reroll on the shop or in the uh, or in the members shop. Let's go do that real quick while we're here. Again, I'm st I'm stretching. I I'm trying to try to make this work. Potentially, we could take the scam box as well, but I think that's a little bit that's I think that's going to be too much of a of a long shot. And we might as well. T I can't leave Keeper Sack here. I just can't do it. Even though it's probably going to give us no benefit, I just I I cannot in good conscience do that. Okay, gonna go straight to the secret room, and there is no item pedestal. Sissy! How you doing, Sissy? If the spider babby transformation. You should you should have just stayed home there, Fallen. Um again, I think Brimstone legitimately just ruins this. Money was power here. At least, at the very, very, very least, this is going to raise our damage floor by a decent amount. I cannot believe the lack of sacrifice rooms in this run. Kind of absurd. It's, a it's actually kind of impressive. Okay, so there's a mystery gift here, so this could be it. What we can do is we can use... There's chaos. We don't want to get chaos at this point. 
So we, well, first step, let's not bung this up and miss the uh, mystery gift. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to go use this in the secret room. And then we can either use Diplopia to try to double our chances of getting our key, but we really need double our key. So let's just hope it happens here. Okay, it didn't. We can use Perthro Rune now. Okay, it still didn't. It's actually kind of ridiculous that we haven't seen Death Certificate at this point. We, we've gotten so many chances to do this. Soul of Isaac does literally nothing. We found that out the hard way. Okay, so now what we do, we get four and a half volt. Okay, now stick with me on this. Yeah, you see? See, you see what I'm cooking. You're buying what I'm putting down. This would give us way more charges than we could ever possibly get without four and a half volt. Right, Victa smart. Victa smart. Victa not lucky, but it's Victa smart. Come on, we want we want this we want this run to go ultra viral here. This is happening, game. How long it takes us to get here is up to you, but you know what we want. This is unlimited rerolls. There is, it is impossible for us not to get death certificate on this floor at this point. There it is. Well, we don't even need death certificate. We just need our key, but whatever. He has done it. Now all we do is go grab our key, put it down, diplopia it, and hopefully not miss the item pedestal. Now is actually the, the time that I'm the most nervous on this run. Well, we're almost at the finish line. Be careful of our movement speed. We are moving very, very, very quickly. Take our time. We're not in a hurry. There it is. I don't believe that. I don't know actually if Arky is going to be. If we do. If we Diplopia Arky, I don't know if it's going to trigger 
the glitch crown. I think it does. Okay, so we can't miss this again. So this is it right here. The final. This is the finish line right here. Just don't bung it up. He's done it. Oh, baby. He has done it. Okay. So now all we have to do... All we have to do now is... Not get stopped by Mega Satan. But we also need to get into the Mega Satan door. Once we get the angel, once we get the keys, that's it. There might be an angel statue in here. There's not. And then the final, the final step of all this will be, will be making sure that we don't get, we don't, we literally don't need any more items at this point. I mean, I'm still going to take them, but, um, we need to just simply get into the me the mega stand door, and then he needs to not screw us. Essentially, so this is going to be our this is going to be our window in. We have to go. We've already beaten Lamb. We've already beaten Isaac. We've already beaten Blue Baby. All that stuff is done. The only bosses left that we have left are um, Mega Stand. And beast and mother. And that's it. So it's a little bit wonky, but as long as we don't get Mega Stanley blocked, we we've got it down. So there's the key. We can just we can start taking red portals now because we don't need to worry about anything else. Again, I'm not even going to worry about taking items or anything like that. And that will complete the Omega run. But it all comes down to... It, it basically just all comes down to this. It all comes down to Mega Satan not completely stonewalling us. Which is the same that holds true for every... Any and all Omega runs. You have to get past the Mega Satan block. And that's, that's the annoying part. Because it can all come crashing down here. So, we need you, we need you, we need the Moshpit to manifest, manifest Mega Satan not blocking us out here. Uh, she's going to be probably south, I'm guessing. I'd be wrong. Okay, she was northwest. Got it. I mean, we might as well have Mercurius, which is this is kind of nice. We already beaten old Hushy. It doesn't matter if we go up or down here. Um, yeah, it, it literally does not matter. We already beaten Hush. We beat Boss Rush. We beat, we beat everyone. If, if Mega Satan doesn't block us out here, then it's a guaranteed Omega run. Because we what we do is we beat Mega Satan, use the R key before we go, because we've already beaten Delirium. Use the R key, and then go fight Mother, use the R key again after going Alt Path, and then end it on Beast. And that is the Omega run. So this might be the fastest Mega Satan kill you've ever seen. Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't done anything. He he has done nothing. All right, this is it. 
Manifest Delirium Portal, and we're golden. And the game stopped us. Oh, uh, Ed, just let the Mega Satan door stay open. Don't let it end the run randomly. Oh, uh, that's frustrating. Well, it was still one hell of a run. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button, leave a comment down below. Remember to post your questions of the episode. The most upvoted question gets read on next week. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, that's Isaac, baby. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like SlyPork98, Avery, and Hunter Douglas. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta. 